as we look at the numbers coming out from Alibaba and JD, a little bit different. One missed on the top line and even saw a decline in terms of their net income. I'm talking about Alibaba. What was the biggest takeaway for you from, from the uh, China e-commerce e retailers? Right. Hi. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I think there's definitely some highlights, but also uh, some drawbacks in uh, both of the prints. I want to start with Alibaba. I think uh, what they're trying to be telling us for uh, this print is that uh, for top line turnaround, we might have to wait for another one or two quarters until it come. So uh, if you look at June quarter print, uh, their CMR are still growing at flat flattish where i think straight estimation was around three percent to 3.5 percent year over year for june quarter and that's the biggest reason why on um, the total top line for alibaba was a slight miss so it, it was coming from cmr but the reason behind that is um, that uh, there is still a gap between GMV growth and CMR, which is because they've been launching their online advertising products ever since April this year. And that may take maybe six to 12 months for them to ramp up in total revenue. So we'll have to wait until maybe, I think, December quarter 2024 to see a rebounding in CMR revenue. That's uh, definitely number one a takeaway from Baba Print. I think on margin, um, that that's something we shouldn't be worrying about for BABA because um, you can see that from this point, there's uh, your Taobao Tmall uh, uh, EBITDA margin is actually quite flat or uh, the declining there was not as much as what uh, Street expected it should be, which is saying that um, they haven't really been, like, like they say they are investing in Taobao Tmall in user experience in everything in subsidy, but uh, however, on EBITDA margin, there hasn't been a very uh, significant uh, decrease. So going forward, uh, I think Baba uh, is trying to let people uh, be convinced that um, even though um, they, they, they will experience some rebounding with revenue, but margin shouldn't be something that uh, they might fluctuate, but it shouldn't be of a great a worry uh, or a concern for the street. Uh, also, at the same time, they're also telling us that for their AIDC, for cloud, for um, the other part, all and the loss making businesses, these will all be, um, you know, yielding a benign or much better margin profile in the days to come. So overall speaking, I think we'll, we still have to be quite uh, patient for their uh, top line to be rebounding in maybe in two quarters time. But for margin, that shouldn't be something we should be worrying about. I think that's why. So so if you look at their valuation, they're now trading at, I think, fiscal year 2025, less than eight times PER. Also considering they will be or they're highly possible to be able to join Hong Kong Stock Connect uh, in September months. So uh, for especially South bounding investors, uh, that's still one of their uh, top choices as of current. I think that's um, the, the quick wrap up for Baba earning. For JD, that's definitely Jasmine, another story. Just... You... 